Hi folks, how are you doing? Um, I've been asked a couple of times about how to wire point motors, and in particular, multiple point motors. Um, now, in a DC layout, yeah, there really isn't an awful lot of advice online for that. It's quite surprising, and I did find that when I was building this and I started to wire it up, um, I suddenly realised I couldn't remember how it was done, how I, how I managed to do it back in the 70s. And so I went online thinking, oh, well, it'll be fairly easy to find online. And it wasn't. I mean, I did find out and figure out how to do it. But um, it's, there's not as much advice as you might think. So I thought I would do something to, to help any newcomers out there who are building the first DC layout and starting to wire it up. Um, hopefully this will be a bit of a help for you. Um, there's absolutely no way I'm going under this baseboard to try and explain my wiring because... The wiring in this layer is an absolute disgrace and I'm going to completely redo it at some point. It all works, um, but there's no way am I showing uh, what's going on under my layout. Uh, but there's my controller and all my switches, but uh, yeah, I'm not showing you any, any more than that. So the only way to really explain this clearly is to get some slides going. So slideshow folks. Okay, so this is a fairly simple diagram of how a single point motor is wired up. Um, so this is my point here. I know it's a very crude diagram, but never mind. This is my point motor. And all point motors, um, at least the Hornby ones anyway, have a black wire, a red wire, and a green wire. The black wire, you connect to one terminal of your uncontrolled DC output. The red and the green wires go to the, uh, the switch um, on the R044, it's the, you know, the two little sockets on the side. And you then connect the switch to the other terminal of the uncontrolled DC output. And on the passing contact switch, that's the little socket on the side of the switch that you connect that up. So, you know, that is completing a circuit. And the passing contact switch, you know, pulses a current down the red or, and the, the green wires to operate the point motor. So that's how you would wire up a single point motor. But what if you've got four points in your layout or more? You know, you could have, you could have I've got, I think, 14 points in my layout. So how do you wire this? Well, the obvious thing you might think to do is something like this. Um, so we've got the four point motors and we've got four passing contact switches. Uh, the Hornby ones all plug together um, so it can pass the current through from this wire. So you don't need additional wiring between the switches. And of course, the red and green wires go to each point motor into each switch. And there's a black wire from each point motor going into the uncontrolled DC output. Now that would work. It's a bit messy and you know it's not the best. And the more points you add, the more difficult it's going to get to connect this up down in your, your output here. So you really don't want to be doing this. The best way to do it is like that. So your red and green wiring is exactly the same, but this wire it acts like a bus. So instead of all the wires going to the DC control output, you splice them in to this bus wire. Now by splicing, I just mean, you know, you cut the wires together, twist them, solder them, or use connecting blocks, whatever. Um, but, you know, that way you've only got a single wire coming out of here and then a branch off to this point motor, a branch off to this point motor. And you could do that for as many points as you like. So if you add in another point, you just add again another switch, another red and green wire to the switch, and splice into the bus wire, just wherever is convenient. So that is how you wire multiple points with uh, Hornby point motors and Hornby passing contact switches. If you're using a different kind of switch, um, you may have to do something like this where you're going to have to you know, include a little wire to co uh, connect the switches in series. But essentially it's the same thing. Uh, and that's it. That's how you wire multiple points or uh, multiple signals as well. Any accessories that require being you know, uh, connected up to the uncontrolled DC output. So there you go. I hope that's uh, of help to any newcomers to the hobby who are maybe, you know, started to wire up points and thinking, well, I understand how to wire one, but how do I do this for multiple points? You know, well, there you go. Um, there's no getting around connecting up your red and green wires, but 
you know, run a bus for the black wire and it will simplify things a little bit. All right. Okay. Catch you later, folks.